Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the distributed unique ID generation systems. Uh, this is mainly a system design video. Um, so uh, we have three requirements. The ID should be a fixed size. Uh, we assume that it should be 64 bits and the ID should be in sequential order. And the ID should be uh, shortable. So these are the key requirements for, the, for our systems. Let's uh, discuss the approaches that we are going to follow to generate these ideas. So we have four different approaches here. We can use UUID, we can use database unique ID features, or we can use a ticker server approach followed in Flickr. Um, uh, we, can, uh, we can use Snowflake approach followed in Twitter. So uh, these are the four approaches here. Let's review each approach one by one and to see whether it can satisfy our requirement or not. So the first thing is, um, we, are, uh, we can see UUID features. So as everyone aware of that, uh, uh, we can use UUID feature to generate the unique ideas. But the thing is, this is like a 128 bits long and, uh, and the ideas are not shortable and, uh, and also um, the, the ideas, are, uh, ideas are not sequential order here. So, so this is an example of a unique uh, ID here. So as you as you see as you see it here, so it's like a thirty six characters, and this is like a way. Uh, this is like this is like a long one, and this is not going to satisfy our requirements here. So let's move on to the uh, next approach using the database unicity features. So uh, in relational database and non uh, no SQL databases, uh, the database provides some approach to generate some kind of unicity. We can just make use of that um, features to generate the uh, to get the uh, to generate the unique ideas here, and uh, if you just look at the Oracle, Oracle provide a sys GUID functions by using this function we generate an uh, uh, unique ID which is equivalent of our uh, UUID random ID generator. So um, this, if you just look at this, you just need to invoke this functions to create this unique ideas, but. If you just look at this ID, this is not like this is not um, a sequential order, and the size is uh, 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 the size is wrong. This is not going to satisfy our requirements. So, uh, so we have so we have to move on to the next next approach. Here we can uh, so object in the MongoDB database uh, we have a feature called object ID. So this is like a twelve byte uh, value, and if you just look at this first four byte uh, is timestamp value and the second. Uh, the f uh, second five byte is for random value and the third three byte is for increment encounter so this this is also this so by using so because we have added the timestamp informations in this id so this object id so so this ids are shortable uh, but this ids are um this these ids are uh, sequential order but the only drawback is the size the size is like a 60, 96 bits, but we expect uh, the ID should be of 64 bits. So this is not going to satisfy our requirements. So let's move on to the next approach. The next approach using ticker server approach. So we have a database server. So in the database, uh, uh, we have a table called, we can create a table called ticker. And then in this ticker, uh, we, can, we, can have, we can have a field called ID. That's like an auto increment ID. So whenever we want to generate the ID, we are going to send a request to the database server. So the database server, it's uh, it's going to uh, it's going to update that particular record and it's going to give us the random ID informations. Let's go to that their page and then I will explain that approach they have followed there. So here we they have this is their website Flickr website and in that uh, they just mentioned they explain about the uh, the approach followed here. So the thing is. They have a table. They create a table called ticket sixty four, and they have a they have two field, two fields ID and stub. It's like a some random value here, and they have a auto increment features. So so uh, so it will be like this. Once they create this table, they go, they're going to insert some uh, value here. So once you have this value, it will be something like this. So whenever we want to get a random value, then what we are going to do is. We can insert and we are going to update this record or we are going no we are not going to update the id we are going to update this other value so when you update the other value so you you can always get the uh, uh when you update this other value it's always going to generate a new uh, id uh, 
uh, for each update or for each replacement at all. So, so once you uh, do this operations, then you can immediately get the last insert ID and you can you, you should be able to get the um, ID information here. So this approach followed in Clicker for generating unique IDs. So this this ID is like, uh, yeah, this ID are shortable, but the thing is, um, this uh, uh, the, uh, the thing is we are going to we are always going to need only one database server to generate IDs but what happens if the database is down so we are going to uh, it, it's going to impact our uh, our availability of our system so we need to think about uh, to improve the availability of system so we can have another ticketing server so uh, so we can have two ticketing server here so and we can uh, uh, so we can send the request to any one of this uh, 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 ticketing server server to generate the random ideas so uh, the uh, the thing is if we have two ticketing server so there is a possibility that it's going to generate some duplicate uh, entries so to alleviate that issue uh, what we can do is uh, we can have a uh, one ticketing server that generates random numbers the another ticketing server that generates some odd numbers uh, like something like this uh, they just mentioned that approach here so by using this approach we can uh, we can create uh, uh, we can create non duplicate entry uh, ideas but the problem here is sometimes over the long run the ideas are not, are, are not shortable so uh, so so this this approach is not going to satisfy our requirements so we need to think about using a different approach so the last approach would be using the twitter uh, snowflakes approach so here uh, tick, 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 uh, sorry, Twitter Snowflakes approach. Uh, we are going to create an ID uh, that is like 64 bit ID that consists of timestamp information, worker node information, uh, ma ma mainly worker uh, worker machine address information, and also sequence information. So, so these are the uh, so that we it also has a timestamp, uh, uh, machine ID, sequence number, and some kind of extra bit for some kind of reserved purpose by using these features. We can we are, we can we can we can create a unique ideas and the ideas are shortable because we are using the timestamp information. The ideas are, are fixed size because we are always going to uh, generate only sixty four bits of uh, uh, ideas. So it's always shortable and it's always a uh, uh, sequential order and it's and it's like it's, it's it's in fixed size. So so this approach is going to satisfy all of all our requirements uh, for our system. So this is the uh, best approach that we can follow to generate the unique ideas here. So uh, yeah, that's it about this, uh, 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 that's just about uh, uh, for this design. Uh, I just refer a lot of uh, um, uh, links to get in about all these informations. I will leave all these links in my video. If you have any questions, please leave your comments uh, in this video. Uh, uh, thank you.